Musicals were no longer seen as dreary and old-fashioned. They were suddenly the bright new thing, and everybody wanted to be part of it, including Lionel Bart's former bandmate and Britain's most famous pop star, Tommy Steele. I was an English Elvis Presley. <laughs> But the problem with me was, and it's not a problem, is that I wanted to be in musicals. When I first met him, I was like, blah, 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 blah. and of course, I'm only a teenager, you've got to remember. So for me, he was like, it's a huge star. By 1963, the British musical was on such a wave of popularity that a show was written as a star vehicle for Steel. But even for such a seasoned performer, the transition from pop performer to stage performer was a daunting experience. I do remember the first night when I walked on stage because I had to walk on stage facing Tommy and I sort of saw out the corner of my eye, all these heads go vroom, like this, all of them turned towards me and I thought, oh my God. You're in the dark and the show's going on and your cue's coming up and the music is just coming into the last 24 bars and you know in 23, 22, 21, that bloody light's going to hit the corner and I'm going to have to walk into it. And I was so scared and I looked at Tommy and he was shaking I thought, oh, thank God he's scared like me. Oh, here it comes and but oh, I'm all right now. <laughs> and though that half a sixpence Sixpence Can only mean half a romance Romance Remember that half a romance is better than none Half a sixpence told the story of an orphan who unexpectedly inherits a fortune. But if this was to be the musical to launch a pop star's switch to the stage, it would need a standout number. Just two days before opening, the producers realised that was exactly what was missing. Unless you've got an 11 o'clock number that sends the folks out to their buses and their trains whistling it, you're in trouble. You have not got a hit. Composer David Henneker had just one day to come up with a solution. And on the Sunday we met and they play Flashbang Wallop. Hello, did Flashbang Wallop, what a picture, what a picture, what a photograph. And because we didn't have time to work out what I would be doing in the number, they decided that we'd bring all the company on and every time I said hold it, they froze. So we made it in the photographer's studio. Stick it in your hand, eh, album? It became the biggest hit of the season. One more picture, hold it. The same thing. With a big closing number and the star power of steel, Half a Sixpence became a huge success in the West End and on Broadway. But the British musical's revival was to be short-lived. Half a Sixpence would be the last British musical export to America for 15 years. Stick it in your family, stick it in your family, in your family, out! 